day 18, January 12th, 2023, Thursday, and I'm feeling tired. I think I've said that like <laughs> in quite a few blocks before, but I'm really feeling tired. Um, and it's weird too, because I actually had a, I feel like a pretty good night's sleep, but maybe not. I don't have one of those like watches that can like, you know, monitor your actual sleep. So maybe it was terrible. <laughs> maybe I moved the whole night and just like didn't get like into the into REM or didn't you know, get a full night's sleep or something. I don't know. So if I ramble more than usual, which would, which would be honestly pretty uh, <laughs> pretty surprising if that's even possible. Um, if I ramble more than usual, then that, that might be I'm going to blame it to being tired. But even though I'm tired, though, um, I'm not, you know, sad or upset, which is good. Just like I know I'm tired and I realize, like, yeah, I just need to get some sleep. But I do want to stay up a little bit later because I do want to watch a little bit of a critical role later on. But um, that's later on. But yeah, the, the, today was actually pretty good. Like I said, <laughs> sleep felt pretty good at the time. And I, um, yeah, woke up, got a little workout in, which is always like, you know, my least favorite part. But at least I'm able to get it done. And I don't know, with, with enough time that I don't have to worry about rushing to eat breakfast anymore because I get up a little bit earlier. Um. So yeah, got that done. I was able to enjoy my morning. Had a, had a good breakfast. So same thing I always have: some tofu and some a uh, couple of cuties and some baby carrots. Keep it keep it real simple. But um, so breakfast was good. And then work, you know, work work actually went pretty well. I'm hosting another meeting, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, oh, but and in, in surprisingly, so getting past that, so yeah, day went pretty well. Work was good. Um, really, really had a really good time just being off the phone too. Just like able to really, I feel like think more. Just like kind of get into my own thoughts a little bit more. Just about things I need to do, things I've been putting off <laughs> by wasting time and just like doing things like scrolling. And so I'm realizing like it's coming to a head that I just need to finally take care of some of these things, which I plan on doing this coming week. So. Although this weekend and next weekend are kind of busy. I've been looking at my calendars going, man. Like, I, I love playing TTRPGs, but I'm like, shoot. <laughs> I want time just to, to relax more, just to read more, just to, to breathe more. So we'll see about that. But um, but anyways, I actually finished House in the Pines last night. Because it got to the point, like... For, for sometimes, sometimes with books, like, you get to a point where, like, I, I, I want to know how this ends. I need to know. And so I have plenty of time before bed, so I just kind of finished it. And um, I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm happy because, like, it had a, I guess you wouldn't say, like, a quote-unquote happy ending, but a happier ending. I mean, Maya was able to kind of work through her, well, able to kind of solve what happened to her, the hypnotism, which was pretty cool. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really see it coming. I didn't try to see it coming, but I did see it coming either way too. So, um, and a pretty cool way to, to kind of spin like, you know, oh, is it supernatural? Is it not? Um, it's weird though, like, cause I, I do, um, enjoy like fantasy and stuff like that and sci-fi so sometimes I want it to be like you know supernatural so I'm like oh it's not like some cool ghost from super like supernatural thing happening which is silly because you know that's not the kind of book so it should it should probably stop doing that but um but no I like that it had um, a happier ending um I don't know I guess I'm a suck, sucker for happy endings I don't when they're like and then, to me, happy can just be like with an upward trajectory. Like it can end on like a nowhere. Like they things can get better. They know what they need to do, and there's like a, there's a chance that it that they can make it better. That to me is still a good ending, like a happy ending. And this one definitely hits that point for me, because Miles is able to kind of figure out what happened, and they don't catch the bag which is cool too. Kind of leaves up in the air, like oh well. At least this new detective believes her. They did the research because he was like a quack working at like, well, that's not a quack because it works. But he was like, you know, just a creep working at this clinic saying like, oh, the hypnotism helps people. And then who knows if he killed other people. But it looks like they're trying to make a case against him, which is cool. But either way, she's still able to kind of move on. And I love how her and Dan were able to work it out. And she was able to work through her addiction, even though she didn't see it as an addiction. But she's like, well... That doesn't mean I'm not addicted, and so it's cool that she was, was able to kind of work through that and was able to stop drinking and 
and slowly wean herself off the pills, helping her sleep again. So that, I thought that was really cool. And especially that her and Dan were still together, because I was like, no, the relationship is going to be ruined. So, oh, I guess, it, I mean, spoilers. So I think you already know by now, but spoilers for The House and the Pines by Anna Reyes. So yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It had a satisfying ending, in my opinion. And yeah, look forward to reading some other things. I think this, this, this is their, uh, their first book, so it's going to be cool to see what they come out with next. Um, but yeah, I'm glad my, uh, my got a good ending. And I love the, the connection between her and Dan's mom. Because at first, a rock relationship, especially, you know, when you're <laughs> getting drunk and on drugs in someone's house and throw up. I mean, definitely going to make things strain. But I like that they're able to come to understanding because Maya knows why she's so protective as a mother. Because um, she re- represents it to her own mom. She kind of sees, like, you know, you're going to do anything for your child. And so they kind of have that connection, even though Maya doesn't have a kid yet. But she, they have the connection of knowing what it um what that feeling is between like a mother, I guess. So they, they, they kind of share that at least it, they come to a sort of understanding, which is um, written by like, you know, the, the way they kind of look at each other and how Dan's mom's face kind of softens. And I don't know, I thought that scene was really cool. And um, yeah, I thought that was, that was awesome. So yeah, that book is done. It's now we can catch up on some other books. So right now I started reading, um, we started getting back into Still No Word From You by Peter Orner, which is a really, really cool like memoir slash um, essays. Uh, uh, it's just, it's cool. Cause he writes little anecdotes from his life and usually represent like a certain phrase or some, a line from a book that he liked or just a line that he liked or even lines that he didn't like, but what it made him think about and like references sometimes other people in his life or other, other memories. And so it's really cool. Um, I really, I really do dig in there. They're nice and small too, like usually a couple pages. So I can just like read a few, like a couple bites and, um, but still get a lot from like, even though they're, they're short, they're still, there's a lot of depth to them. It just makes me think about, um, I don't know, just about the little things, about the little lines that I like that I read in books or just the moments in my life too. So, and I think that's cool for all memoirs. They kind of, at least for me make me look back and kind of reflect on my own self and my own life. Be like, oh man, that happened. And, um, yeah, I mean, because to me, like all of our lives can be memoirs, I think, you know, well, I know, I mean, all, all lives are pretty much, I mean, happening. So memoir is just a written down version of that. And so we're living, we're, we're living our memoirs, I guess, you know, I don't know. I'm tired. But hopefully that kind of makes sense. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish reading this one for the coming week, and and also I'm probably finish this one as well. My drawing from the lions by Rachel Law because I'm getting back into poetry. Um, and it's funny too because in, in this one he says such a cool line about poems, like you know, like oh like I like I read it and I felt like I almost got up, and the more I read it, the more I, I felt like I was losing it. And with poetry, it's so. It can be so hard sometimes, especially because when it's in your own language, like, you know all the words. Like, you know, this word means this and this and this. But then you're trying to piece it together. Like, is there, like, a, like you're trying to take away a meaning from it. And you're like, well, this and this and this. Does this mean that? And so it can be such a rewarding but frustrating experience at the same time. Um, but, yeah, so those are, that's what I'm reading right now. So I'm definitely going to enjoy finishing those two. And then probably get to, because I want to get to the one by Harukami, Haruki, Haruki Murakami that was recommended. Definitely get to that one, but I also want to read this one coming up as well, Digital Minimalism. So, but I should have some time with it. So we'll see. We'll see how how I can get through these ones. Like I said, I'm not trying to rush through them. I really do just want to sit and just enjoy them. Like I go through, I'll reread a page, I'll go back because there's, I don't know. I'm not trying to hit like some book quota. I mean, it's cool. I know people do that. I think that's really cool to try to have goals. So I kind of books you want to read. But at this point, I just, I like reading. And so there's no amount of number. There's no number that's going to make me feel like accomplished. Cause I don't know. Cause to me, it's like, who, who am I compare myself against? Like, I don't know if you enjoy reading, I don't care how many books you read. I mean, as long as you enjoyed it, that's cool. I'm not like, Oh man, I didn't read like a thousand. I mean, what does that mean in the end? I mean, I guess you can, 
put on like you know on a plaque or something like I read this many books a year but I don't know but again no hate if people do that's cool though if it helps inspire them to read more because no people like to set goals so if they if, if you do that it that is cool I'm not hanging on that just for me and I'm, I don't like doing it and especially because because I'm the type of person who'll just do it for the number that's why I get to I had to stop meditating for a while because it became less about the act itself and more it's about like trying like to keep up with something and so but that's just me your mileage may vary or be different well it is different because the things you see through your eyes are different than mine because we're different people unless i'm watching unless i'm watching this video myself again then well we aren't though because like i'm gonna be different I feel like we're different every second from now. So when I'm watching it again, I think at that point I'll still be a different person. And that could be 10 minutes from now or two minutes. But yeah, that's um, so that's day 18. I think that's enough rambling for today. About to go finish cooking something, then eat dinner, then hopefully watch Critical Role if I don't fall asleep, or at least some of it. And then maybe get a little bit, little bit of reading in too before bed. We'll see. But yeah, I look forward to doing this whole thing again tomorrow for day 19 but i hope you have a good night a good morning a good evening a good day whenever you're watching this hope you have a good afterwards but yeah that's day 18 in the books with day 19 on deck